Hi guys, if you're a programmer or aspiring to be one, you are probably familiar with challenges like coding, the same basic things over and over, spending hours searching for errors, debugging going back and forth with ChatGPT to solve doubts, and even adding comments to your code to explain what it does. But what if you had an assistant that can do all these things for you? Which is why in this video, I will share with you three of the best AI assistants. For programmers, these AI assistants can complete your code as you type, find and fix errors for you, have a chatbot that solves your doubts, and even translate your code from one language to another language. I'm your skill builder, and let's get started. The first AI assistant that we're going to see is Codegix, and we will be using it at a code editor called VS Code. So to set up Codegix and VS Code, we are going to do three simple steps. The first step is to open VS Code on our computer. So let's go to our desktop and open VS Code. Now the second step is to install the extension. So let's click on the extension icon and search for Codegix. Now click on the extension and click install. All right now, the final step is to log in and set up the extension. So click login, then click allow. Now here click on English to translate this page and sign up using your Google account. Once this pop-up appears, it means that you're now logged in. But by default, this tool is in another language. So to change it to English, let's click on the settings icon Go to extension settings now. Change the language preference in all these three, from default to English. And it's done. Now let's see the different features of Codegex. The first feature is called autocomplete. This feature figures out what you're going to type and gives you suggestions to finish your lines. So let's see how it works. We'll start with something simple, like calculating the factorial of a number. And as you start typing, you will see the suggestions which start to appear here. To accept the suggested code, just press tab, and as you can see, it has automatically completed the main function, which is the part from where the code starts to run. Now to get the input from the user, let's start typing the initial lines. And after the suggestion appears, press tab to accept. Another way to use this feature is just type a comment, describing in simple words what code you want, and you will see it suggest the code according to what you type. Pretty easy, right? Now it does take a few seconds for the suggestions to appear. But other than that, it does a good job in identifying what we want, and it automatically generates the code. Now let's see the second feature, which is code explanation or documentation. With this feature, you can select any part of your code and get the explanation for it right inside your ID. It will generate a detailed explanation for the code and even add comments like this to make it more readable. This is especially useful for beginners or even for students for working on a complex code or learning a new concept. So let's see how you can do that. Select a portion of the code, then right click on it. Go to Codegex and click explain code. As you can see it has generated an output, explaining the code in detail, and it's completely correct. And if you want to add descriptive comments that explain what the code does and how it works, just like the code, right click on it. Go to Codegex and click Generate Comment. And that's it. This means that you don't have to keep looking on things on Google or asking ChatGPT. You can get your answers right here in your eye. Now sometimes we make mistakes, like typos or missing semicolons while typing the code, which can take us hours to find out. To fix this issue we have a feature called Code Debug. Let me show you how to use it. As you can see this code has some bug. So let's select the entire code now. Right-click and go to Codegex, click Ask Codegex. Now here type slash and click Fix Bug. And in seconds it debugged the code. Using this feature, will save programmers a lot of time and energy. Now let's see the fourth feature, which is Chatbot. And as the name suggests, it's a chatbot with which you can chat in English and ask any doubts, and even give it prompts to generate any code. Let me show you how it works, just click on this icon. And here you need to enter a prompt or a question. So let's ask it to generate the Python code for a tic-tac-toe game. And the code is generated in no time. Now if we click insert to get it here and click run.
you can see that it is working properly. That too without any errors. It's just like ChatGPT, except it's solely focused on programming. Okay, moving on. Let's say you have a code in Java, but you want the same code in C++. Translating it manually will take a lot of time. That is where the next feature comes in, which is code translation. This feature helps you translate code from one language to another. So let's see how it works. So to translate a code from one language to another, go to translation here. Now select the code you want to translate. Click here and select the language you want. Then click on translate. And it's done. Now just open the file where you want to insert this code and click insert. So this is how you can translate a code from one language to another. In the same way, you can also change data from a JSON format to a CSV format or convert data between excellent JS, ON formats and so on. So these are the five main features of Codegex. All its responses were quite accurate, which makes it really useful for programmers. In their everyday work also Codegex is completely free. So you can go ahead and give it a try. Now let's move on to the second AI assistant, which is GitHub Copilot. This AI assistant is a result of a collaboration between GitHub and OpenAI, which is why it works on OpenAI's Codex model, which supports these 11 languages, and it works on all these IDEs. So let's check it out. Open VS Code, go to extensions, and search for GitHub Copilot. Click the first result, and install it. Then click sign in. Click allow. Now click authorize and then click open VS Code. GitHub Copilot also has the same five features as Codegex, but the way of accessing them is a little different. So let's see how you can use them. For the first feature code autocomplete, let's type a code for a Fibonacci function. As you start typing, you can see the suggestion starts to appear. Press tab to accept it. Now if you try to type a comment, you can see it gives suggestions for that too. All you have to do is press tap, and it completes the comment, as well as it gives you the whole code. Let's see the second feature, which is code explanation. Now similar to Codegex, to get an explanation of any code, just select the code. Right click on it, go to Copilot and click explain this. And the explanation is generated. To add comments or documentation in the code, just select the code. Right click on it, go to Copilot. Click Generate Docs. And if you're satisfied with the suggestion, click Accept and it'll be added. Now let's see the third feature, Code Debug. If we run this code, you can see it throws an error, which means there's some bug. To debug it, select the code. Right click on it, go to Copilot, and click Fix This. Here a debug code is generated. So let's click Accept and it'll be added here. The fourth feature Chatbot. Also works similar to Codegix Chatbot. Just click on the icon, and the chatbox will appear. You can ask it any doubts you have, or give it prompts to generate any code you want. To use the fifth feature, Code Translation. Select the code that you want to translate. Press Ctrl plus I and simply type Convert to Java or any language you wish to convert to. Now press Enter and it be translated just like that. Now in addition to all these features, GitHub Copilot has an additional feature which no other AI assistant has. As so if you type at Workspace, Codepilot will navigate through your entire code base and not just your currently open file. This means you can ask questions about anything from your project. Just click on the icon. For example, I can ask, can I change this? Check function of post controller into API from web. It will check all the files to understand our reference and it gives us the solution. You can use Guitar Copilot's great features, which are faster and more accurate than others. Now Copilot is a paid platform. But if you're a teacher or a student, you can get it for free however, if you do not belong to this group, and don't want to spend money on any paid plans. Let me introduce you to another AI, assistant that is as good as Copilot, but is absolutely free it's called Codium. It supports more than 70 programming languages, 
and works on 21 different nodes. So let's see how to set it up. In VS Code go to Extensions and search for Codium. Select the first result and install it. Click Login and click Allow. You can install it in the same way. We install Codegex and get the Copilot. Now sign up with your Google account and click Open this code. Then you will see this welcome pop-up, which means Codium is now set up and you can use it, just like Codegex and Copilot. Codium also has those five features. You can check out the first feature, Code Auto Complete, and it works the same just as in Codegex and Copilot. Just start typing and as the suggestion appears, press tap to accept them. You can also just add comments and it'll work the same way. To use the second feature, which is code explanation, just select the code right, click on it, just click explain here, and it'll generate the explanation. Now to get the code documentation for this function, click here, and then click apply. Now click accept and it'll be inserted into your code. To use the debug feature in Codium, just select a code which has a bug. Right click on it. Then click here. Now here type check for bugs and fix it and press enter. As you can see it has generated the debugged code. So just click accept. And now if you run this code. You will see it's bug free and works properly. Let's check out Codium's chat board again. It's similar to the previous chat boards, and works the same but it has this additional feature. If you type add function, you will see all the functions of your code. You can select anyone and ask questions regarding it. This will save you a lot of time, and help you in getting more accurate answers. Now the last feature code translation. To translate a code, from one language to another language, just select the code you want to translate. Right click on it, click this option again. And here type convert to C. Or whichever language that you want to translate your code into. Finally press enter. And as you can see it has translated the code. So just click accept to add it. If you guys like this video, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So I'll see you in the next video. Until then God bless you.